Well, I hope everybody had a great Memorial Day weekend. We are out here in Sequoia National Forest. Um, came out here last night. Got in here pretty late, but found a nice camp spot here in some dispersed camping areas here. Uh, you can see the group behind me right up, right over there. Uh, Hector, Monica, David. And we got in here probably around 11.30, 12 o'clock last night, set up our tent. Actually got a cool campsite because right here, you've got a great overlook of the Kern River Valley. But that's not where we're going. We're going behind the camera over here to what's called the Domeland Wilderness. And it's uh, called Yosemite's little sister for all the granite domes they have in there. So it's going to be pretty cool. We're going to be heading there shortly after some breakfast. Just fix that up. I already had mine. They're having their coffee up there and away we go. So it's going to be a great weekend out here at the Domeland Wilderness. Come along. There you go. Got Monica and David down there. Hector right there. And this trail is steep. There's some really neat granite spires over here. Coming this way, there's one right through the trees right there. There's another one that was right up over here. And the meadow we're going to goes right down here. Well, we have made it to camp. Showing you what I'm brought out here this weekend. Got my Six Moon Designs Haven tarp with the net inner. Inside over there, I've got my Cedar Ridge Zero Degree quilt. My big Agnes pad, the Axel Air insulated pad. Up in there, you're probably wondering what the heck that is. That is my pillow, and I use an undershirt to keep my pillow on my sleeping pad. <coughs> Excuse me. Show you camp real quick. Hector brought his duplex over there. Got a nice little fire ring right here. Across the way. David's got his lunar solo. And we are camped next to the creek here. Manter Creek flows right through here and it is full of golden trout. And right over there's a meadow. Monica just set up her uh, tankara rod here. Pretty neat little rod that she got. It is the Hane. See if I can focus in on that. Come on. It's a Hane. It's a 10 foot 10. 10 car rod. So she's ready to go. I've got my uh, little spinmatic rod, pack rod. I'm going to be throwing just a small jig. Pinch down the barbs. So we're going to go over here and do a little fishing. Come over here and watch Monica. See how she does. She can get a get a far amount away with that ten car rod. It's a nice big pool right there. She's going after some fish. Ooh, he's got the purple, purple Lakers, huh? Yeah. Nicely done, Hector. Beautiful. Good one. 
too. Real good one. Let me get the hands wet for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Well, I didn't want him to fall in the grass, but you can see how beautiful that fish is right there. Beautiful little golden trout. Let's put him back in. Off he goes. Another one. A lot smaller. Another one. We're all doing some fishing, having some fun, catching some golden trout, rainbow trout. I think they're golden rainbow hybrid. But this meadow is just beautiful. Uh, right behind me there, Monica's fishing right there. She's caught a couple now, a few actually, on the Tenkara rod. And, which is cool to see because you get the dry fly just floating along and then they just sip up and get it. So pretty neat to see. Um, Right over that way is where we came in earlier today and it's like 5.30 now, I'm ready to go get some food in me. I've got All American Works Burger, I've got another dinner, I think it's like the uh, Buffalo Ranch Chicken from Next Mile Meal. All are good meals, so we'll go back there soon and probably call it an early night tonight. I think we're all a little tired still. Maybe not me, just me, but it's gonna be cold up here. We're over 7,000 feet, 7,200 feet. But uh, let's get to some food and I'll come down here and show how Hector and Monica are doing fishing. Let's see if we can get Monica on a Tinkara rod here. She just caught a little trout. She's caught a ton of fish today already. And oh, she just has one on. Oh, she's got one on. Right on cue. Number six. Look at the colors of that golden. Look at that belly. Beautiful. <laughs> hey. Oh, there's one. Cooperate. Oh, look at the colors on that one there. Beautiful fish. Let's release him and on he goes. Just throw it on top. Right on top. It'll catch all that. time for dinner this is what I brought right here next mile meal is an Italian meatball a great meal it's 570 calories keto great meal uh, Monica has got one of those as well she's got the Buffalo Ranch chicken that one's a good one what are you eating Hector uh, Italian meatball oh he's got the same one as me yeah. and what has David got chicken and dumplings chicken and dumplings that sounds pretty good it's too it's not keto <laughs> not keto at all but it's been a great time out here today we got the fire going now and before too long we're just gonna I'm gonna shut the camera off here and just enjoy the night with everybody here so we'll see you in the morning it's been a great day so far well good morning we're just about to leave camp here tents are still here this is gonna be our base camp but we're gonna be heading off to church dome um, about three miles back down down the trail a little bit and then off trail Gonna check that out and then come back. This will be our camp again for tonight. It was a great time last night. Uh, hanging around the campfire, just relaxing. Overnight got down to around 22 degrees. So I'm glad I brought the zero degree bag because I would have been freezing in the 40. 
actually woke up around 4 a.m., 5 a.m. to go to the bathroom. It was pretty cold. But yeah, now we're going to head out, check out Church Dome, and come back here tonight. Little baby golden. Pretty neat. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Thank you to Monica for letting me test out this Tenkara rod. It's the Hain rod, which is a 10 foot, 10 inch model. And this is a lot of fun. So I think when I get back, I'm gonna have to order one of these Tenkara rods. It's a blast out here catching the trout. And all I'm using is a little small mosquito pattern here. I'm gonna show you. It's hard to pick up, but let's see if it'll focus on that. My dirty fingernail. Yeah, but that's it, little tiny size, probably 16 mosquito hook. Our camp is right across the way. You can see Hector's duplex right over there. My Haven tarp in there. David's got his lunar solo down, but that is our camp. I zoom back out. Creek is, Creek is just right in there, or actually right in here. And right through. Back at camp, had a great day out there. We went up to Church Dome. We got a nice fire behind me here. Monica's making up some what chicken noodle ramen soup or something ramen soup. Yeah I've got this right here All-American works burger. It's like the best thing that you can get out here in the back country My hey. favorite meal besides Monica's cooking of course hey. <laughs> uh, What are you having Hector? I think beef taco beef from taco. Next mile meals and David's got some Alpine air pineapple orange chicken nice let me uh, flip the camera around Sounds here, good. and then you can see. Sounds really good. We got Monica right there. Hi. If I go further over, we got David there with his meal. And this is a pretty cool little tripod I got here too. We got Hector right there, and back to me, my ugly mug. Yeah, we're gonna enjoy the fire here. Got down to 22 last night. Hopefully, it won't get that cold tonight. We'll find out though and then head out tomorrow we're going to check out a waterfall on the way out hopefully and got a long drive back like six hours or something so it's going to be a beautiful hike out here tomorrow too get to hike along the rest of the meadow and then go up towards the north end of the trail the manter creek north so we're going to enjoy dinner and have a good night
just finished dinner and this sunset behind me is beautiful. I don't know if you can see the colors or not, but wow. <laughs> it's pretty awesome out here. Um, I'm right next to the creek that we were fishing earlier in the day um, and yesterday. And the colors are popping. Just look at that. Wow. And over here, same thing. It's just, pff, wow. This is beautiful out here. And this me meadow, men mentor, manator meadow, manator meadow. Um, beautiful meadow. Haven't seen any deer come through here or anything like that yet, but man, it'd be cool to see some deer, maybe in the morning. Maybe I'll try to wake up early. It was cold yesterday. I don't know if I want to come out if it's that cold again. But maybe I can come up for some sunrise photos. That'd be cool. See if I can get the sun over there on the hills. I'm going to go back to camp. Like I said earlier, we are enjoying the campfire. Uh, great campfire that we've got out here. There's about four other campsites back in there. Everybody's got their campfire going. Pretty nice. Well, good morning. Uh, last day out here. Just made breakfast. Another next mile meal. This one is the sausage scramble. Pretty good little meal. 530 calories. Uh, another cold night out there. I think it got down to 26 last night. When I woke up here to get out this morning, it was around 30 degrees. But right now, we got a little fire going again. Let me uh, just show you. Fire's going good. It's time to make this breakfast and then take off. We've got a long drive home and a five mile hike out. We're going to hopefully check out a waterfall as well. So it's going to be a good day. Well, camp is all packed up. We're ready to go. Just uh, putting out our fire now and making sure that's completely out before we leave camp. Uh, besides that, you can't even tell we are here. We're leaving a clean camp as always. But we're going to head out towards the North Loop Trail that I was talking about earlier. Go around the other part of the meadow. And maybe we'll see some wildlife coming out here. This morning we got woken up to some coyotes howling, which is cool. Came across this little camp. Looks like they've got uh, some bars up there for a canvas tent. Got bear box over here. If I walk up the steps. Uh, oh, a nice fire pit down here. More uh, bear boxes or bins there. A little stove. Water, they can heat up water. There. Uh, oh, it's called Newman Camp. It's got a name right there, Newman's Camp. Came across this old cabin here. It's an old administrative cabin for the Forest Service. Uh, you got a sink that they had out here. See the sign right there? Property of the United States. Uh, you can see in here, old lantern right here. That's pretty cool. See if I can see it, if you guys can see it or not. That old fridge back in there, bed rolls, um, filtration device, some old chairs. Um, oh, some old satchels like for fishing. That's pretty neat. Um, some bird feeders up there, birdhouse, some hoses, and this tree right in the middle that they built this around. That is neat. We made it back to the trailhead. Group's right there behind me, and we all had a blast out here. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing, ring the bell, wherever it is for any notifications of new videos I got coming out. Until the next one, thanks for having me.